Hey, Peter's not money talk here with another video. And this video I'm gonna talk about the Wendy's app. So you saw me talk about the McDonald's app in the past. Also a Taco Bell app, but <laughs> how are you enjoying any reward for that one? But with McDonald's, it's pretty similar to McDonald's app. I actually like the McDonald's app better than the Wendy's app. So as you can see, you pretty much order food, of course. You had to deliver it to you, or you could order food, and that way when you walk in there, the food's ready for you. First time I used it, they had the food ready for me, because I was at the gas station. I was on, I was on the job, because you know I drive the truck and all that. So when I was at the gas station, I pretty much ordered so I'm at the, not McDonald's, but Wendy's. That way when I'm there, the food is ready for me. But of course, another time, I said, you know what? I'm gonna buy some groceries because the, the Wendy's I was at is like right next to Wendy's. So I figured I'll buy a few hours from Wendy's and when I come out, that food's already ready. But of course, when I went to Wendy's, they still making my food. <laughs> so, they're not always as fast as you think they will be. It's just like when I'm doing Uber Eats. Sometimes that food's ready when I pick up from those fast food restaurants. Sometimes they're not. But you can see there are pretty much reward points on let me go to the rewards. So I'm trying to clear this out. <laughs> I know it's blurry. It's a bit blurry. So, this is store rewards. Let's see what that is. So, just like McDonald's, there's like the rewards where you pretty much use your points to buy these items. I don't know why this is blurry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I mean, this tablet is new, but it still gets blurry at times. So, you can see I got 357 points. So, I have enough points to get these without taking out any money from my pocket. And you can see these are like blurred out because they're like, what, 400? I need 400 points to get these. 10 piece chicken nugget. <laughs> so if I had 500 points, I could get that for free. Which the first time I used this, they pretty much offered me a free 10 piece chicken nugget up front. And these are the offers. So you can see, man, <laughs> this is just blurry. Two doors off any breakfast combo. So I just click on here and I pretty much get two doors off any breakfast combo. So you see the fries. So free any size fries with purses. So I guess I get free, free fries for a purse of anything. Four piece chicken nut, four piece chicken nugget, for ninety nine cents. That's what I remember chicken nuggets being, getting four for like ninety nine cents. But at one point it was like five for ninety nine cents. I actually like the offers with McDonald's better because they actually offer you like twenty five, like up to thirty percent off on your purchase with McDonald's. So as you see, that you like pick what where you want the food to be ordered from. So last time I used it, so this is pretty much as closest to Wendy's to my area right now. So if I wanted to order from here, I'll just go to here. So I'm just gonna order from here. Let's see if it's that's me. It's still breakfast time, of course. So, let's, I'm not gonna really order anything. One thing I don't like though with this app, the com when you go to like the combos, they're not really the same like when you go in the restaurant. With McDonald's, the combos are pretty much the same. But with this app, it's not. 
Because I was looking for like a chicken nugget meal on this app. And I mean, there was, but they would always have a sandwich with it. But I wanted a chicken nugget meal without the sandwich. But they didn't have it. But in the restaurants, of course, they do. So I don't know what the deal with that is. <laughs> so, yes, this will save you some money. But I do prefer the McDonald's app. One thing I do like with the McDonald's app, they have like this computer, which they call, what do they call it? It starts with a K. I, I just can't think of the name, what they call it. You just go to the McDonald's app. You, you put in like the code and all that. I don't know if I ever show that to you guys. Of course, I hadn't. Maybe one day I'll show you how that works. The kiosk, she asked what's called the kiosk. So Wendy's don't have it. Maybe one day they'll have, but as of 2023, October, they do not have a kiosk. But this is still pretty good because you say somewhere. I mean, I do like Wendy's. I like their chicken nuggets better than McDonald's chicken nuggets. Their fries are also pretty good, but I do prefer McDonald's fries over Wendy's fries. So I get Wendy's second place when it comes to fries. Also like McDonald's sauce and biscuits better too. <laughs> but overall, Wendy's is pretty good. I think they're a little bit cheaper than McDonald's. <laughs> So if you if you like Wendy's, if you've been ordering from Wendy's a lot and you'd had no idea this app exists, I mean you should add this app to your phone if you have enough room of course. Because this can save you. I know there's other apps with these with other restaurants that I can see. Let me, let me go back to my phone. So I had like a couple more McDonald's, because that's one I I'd be using quite a bit. Then the course there's a Taco Bell. I have used it, but I never actually used the rewards because it's, it's kind of weird how the rewards are with this one. So I'm honestly not sure how long I'm going to keep this Taco Bell app. But the McDonald's app and the Wendy's app, I mean, I'm going to be using those quite a bit. So that was my tip when it comes to saving money today. So I hope you all have a good weekend. Bye for now.